Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Our weather pattern is cooling off indeed and snow is beginning to fly now. Taking a look at the Treasure Valley, you're looking over Boise. You can see how obscure the mountains are. That's some snow flying. We've got a rain snow mixture in parts of Ada County, but it is going to trend towards snow as cold to westerly winds are blowing and this 39 degree temperature is going to continue to drop. And overnight tonight, we have got snow in the forecast and I think we'll get a coating of snow. The further east you go, the worse it's going to be. If you've got plans to travel from southwest Idaho into the Magic Valley tomorrow or all the way over to Pocatello. Look out, roads could be impassable in some places tomorrow morning. So just keep that in mind. I say impassable. The interstate, they do a great job at clearing it, but it could really be snowing heavy tomorrow morning in the Burley area, especially. So watch over Ada County here as this radar loop goes. You see it just starting to fill on in and it's a rain snow mixture uh, turning over to snow, not accumulating certainly with the temperatures is warm, but moisture coming in from the north and the east. You see coming to the Emmett Valley right now and snow increasing here in southern portions of Ada County and so we'll have a period of some snow tonight. We could coat the roadways overnight tonight. The main brunt of our storm system is to the south here and it's pinwheeling on up and you can see snow pushing through the Twin Falls area. This is going to increase. More moisture is going to increase as we have a storm system developing from the south, which I'll show you. Winter weather advisories in effect for Owyhee County and for the Western Magic Valley. That's Twin Falls County up to Gooding and Shoshone here. This is a winter storm warning. The white region the higher elevations going down towards jackpot. Very difficult travel. Six to ten inches of snow is likely in this region. And south of Burley is in the warning area, but Burley itself could get some significant snow overnight tonight through the day tomorrow. And here's the culprit, a developing storm system here. You can see the snow expanding, all rotating around us. As this storm is going to come in, it's actually going to come in and do a little loop-de-loop -loop right near the eastern Magic Valley and then slide on off to the east. So there'll be a prolonged period of snow in the eastern Magic Valley towards Pocatello. The road down to Snowville through Snowville to Utah is going to be a mess overnight tonight and tomorrow, especially even through the day, but tomorrow morning when the uh, temperatures are at their coldest point. So here's this storm system with cold air north of the jet stream. There's a parade of storms coming in and not from the tropics. These are coming from the north and west and each successive one is going to give us a chance of snow showers in the Treasure Valley. There's another one in the Gulf of Alaska. This is a very interesting pattern and as we get into the first week of March, extremely cold air is going to stay for this time of year is going to stay across the northwest with chances of snow. So we're going back towards a wintry pattern, but because we're so late in the season, it's tough for the snow to hang around, but it won't feel like it's late in the season in the eastern Magic Valley tomorrow, which is going to feel like midwinter with that snow accumulating. Here's the future cast showing snow showers wrapping on in from the north tonight. We're already getting some. It's even more than what's showing up on our future cast here, but you can see them wrapping on through. Here's tomorrow morning with a chance for snow showers still around. So we had a County could have a coating of snow on the ground as those temperatures are below freezing. During the day, mostly cloudy, threatening a few flurries possible. Charts still show a chance of some snow showers coming in tomorrow night after midnight. And on Friday, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy with a chance for a couple more snow flurries, although it doesn't show much here. I don't think it will be a huge deal, but here's what the Treasure Valley is showing up as far as snow accumulation, a coating in all these blue regions right here from Caldwell, Ada County, Mountain Home could have a little bit more than it's showing here as well. Go further to the east to the Magic Valley, and here's the whopper of the snowstorm that will be coming on in here. I think some heavier snow popping on in. These numbers are updating. Here we go, the latest. The latest chart shows seven inches of snow in Twin Falls, 11 inches inches in Burley. Now this is a computer chart, but I'm really concerned about six to 10 inches of snow in the Burley area as well as Pocatello. So this is going to be a good old fashioned eastern Idaho winter snowstorm coming on in. The wide view shows that the heaviest snow will be to the south, not up into the mountains. There'll be a few inches, but the real snow is in the Magic Valley. Quick check at my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today for the Treasure Valley overnight tonight. Scattered snow showers, gusty westerly winds up to 35 miles per hour. It is going to be brutally cold out there. And in the Magic Valley, as I mentioned, you've got heavy snow coming in overnight tonight and tomorrow, and some gusty wind is likely as well. My extended forecast, snow or snow showers all the way through Friday and Saturday off and on. On Sunday, we just may have outright snow in the valley on Sunday, Oscar Sunday, and Monday, and then staying cold. It is wintertime again in the valley. But the Magic Valley, really going to Big snowstorm coming up. Yep. All right. Thanks, Scott. Yep. The latest memos released by the Trump administration.